Hey there, comic book fans. I just wanted to make a quick video. I just finished reading The Sleeper Omnibus. It's a big one. And I wasn't going to go issue by issue in this one because I was more interested in reading it than reviewing it in any way. But uh, it's, I think it's out of print. This is a, I took this out of the library. Um, so I, I recommend you take it out of the library. It's a really good read. I actually have all the original issues. Uh, I actually distinctly remember not getting the trades because they weren't as well printed as the original issues. But this is really well printed. Uh, it's, it opens nice and flat. Uh, what year did this actually come out, this printing? But it collects, um, whoop, let me see what year it is. 2013. So it's, it's a little old now. Like I said, I think I saw it on Amazon for like $300 someone wanted for it. I don't know who's paying that for it, but uh, if you can get it cheap, I'd say get it. Or track down the original issues. It's really good. It starts with a four... It's funny, you can see... See that black right there? That's the first four-issue miniseries called um, Point Blank. Um, and it's stars Grifter. And it's kind of the, st the sleeper series came out of that. There's, there's, um, point blank starring Grifter is four issues. Then there's sleeper season one and sleeper season two, which are 12 issues each. So there's 24 issues total of sleeper in here. Plus at the end, I haven't read it. There's a coup d'etat, which was part of a crossover with wild storm that, really isn't part of the story but they included it at the end plus it's got some sketches and things at the end but the here's the grifter one there's grifter for you and this is the first ed brew baker and sean phillips they've gone on to do many many uh series together but this is the first time they work together there's their saul bass type cover this is the first time they work together and i remember i I I um I just happened to stumble onto Point Blank way back when as it was coming out and liked it, which made me jump. So so I bought Sl uh, Sleeper was actually on my pull list back when it came out, uh, and I really enjoyed it back then. I don't think I've read it in I don't know how long, but I it was a lot of fun. It's um there's Agent Carver there. It it. It's a lot of sort of superhero spot. They're not really super. They're, there's some super powered. The people in it are sometimes super powered, but it's more like a spy thing where our agent here, Agent Carver, Holden Carver, that's his name. He's got a code superhero name too, but I don't think, I can't remember what it is because he never uses it. Uh, <laughs> and um, there's a... Uh, he he's the main character in it, and the other the other two main characters are there's this guy um, Lynch who runs I O. He's sort of the Nick Fury of the Wildstorm universe. He runs the super spy organization, except he's you know even more of an S O B than Nick Fury is. And then there's Tau, tactically augmented organism, who comes from uh, Alan Moore and Travis Charist's Wildcats. He was a character there. And he's sort of the the villain who runs his own spy organization. So Lynch and Tao have this ongoing, you know, they're they're constant. Their organizations are constantly fighting each other. Um, so Holden was one of the good guys, and he agrees uh, he agrees to go undercover to try to get into Tao's organization um, for Lynch. Then Lynch gets into a coma. And he can't get out. So the whole book is about him, um, Agent Carver. He doesn't quite know which side he's on anymore. Because he's been undercover so long and having to do so many bad things. And he comes to realize that he did a lot of bad things working for the good guys. <laughs> and now he's doing bad things working for the bad guys. So the whole thing is is told from his point of view. Mm. And he's got friends and a girlfriend. He's got a girlfriend who he left behind and a girlfriend who's a bad guy. So it gets all complicated with Agent Carver about what he's supposed to do. And, and the artwork is just terrific. 
it's once again Sean Phillips doing a good job. And it's funny that there's um it's all the, the there's no bleed in the artwork. It's all um all no bleed stuff, which is why you can tell the black is full bleed and this white is all I don't think he I don't think uh, Sean Phillips works with much bleed in his... And bleed is the... When the comic... The picture of the comic goes right off the edge of the book. His his uh, panels never go right off the edge of the book. He's always working within some structure, some gridded structure. And his storytelling is just impeccable. Uh, and it's it's just such a fun book. It's, it's, it's kind of dark... Because it's about this, like I said, this guy, he, he, he's just trapped undercover and he has no way to get out because he knows that Tao is going to kill him if he finds out that he's a bad guy. But then, and Tao, and Lynch and Tao, the good guy and the bad guy are such manipulators. They're such master manipulators that, uh. Holden Carver is just like he he tries to he tries to come up with his own plans, but he knows he's he's a minor manipulator. They're major manipulators. So it's like he the whole thing is him trying to figure out what to do and how to get out. And but meanwhile he's like I said he there there comes a point where he doesn't even know what side he's on because um, Lynch thinks he's working for Lynch but he knows that he's working for it's like both Tao and Lynch think Holden's working for him and betraying the other one but they also both suspect that Lynch is betraying them <laughs> so it's like it just gets so crazy and you know like I said Tao, Tao the evil master manipulator his plans are often opaque too like Holden doesn't even know what his plans are. But he just gets orders and has to do them. And most most of the characters are on the villain side. So there's like um, Holden and his girlfriend, Ms. Misery. Then there's Genocide was his best friend. Uh, but he was also a bad guy. Uh, Triple X-Ray, that was another one of the bad guys who was his friends. Uh, so he's... Most of his friends are bad guys because that's what he's been undercover all this time. But it's just like, I, I, I read this whole thing in about three days. Yesterday was Saturday and I spent a lot of the day doing yard work, clean up leaves and reading this book. So I think I read 12 issues yesterday. It took me, it may have taken me like the first story of Grifter may have taken me like two days to read. And that was only four issues. Then yesterday, I probably read 14 issues just sitting, but it goes pretty quickly too. It's not, it's not, um, it's not always wordy. It's very action oriented. There's, there's super powered people in it, but it isn't a super power. Like, like his, I forgot his superpower is. Uh, he can't feel pain, which leads him to not feel pain psychologically too, which messes him up. So he can't feel pain. And if you hit, hit him and break him, you know, him where he would normally feel pain instead powers him and he can transform, he can touch you and then you feel that pain and he heals up quickly since he, so it's like when he needs to power himself up, he get he, he uh, gets himself beat up. So if you beat him up, that gives him power, and then he touches you, and, and they all have weird powers, too. But a bullet to the head kills most of them. That's how most... All these guys with the, have tough superpowers, but then they get shot in the head, they die. Uh, so it's really... If you want a sort of uh, dark espionage... Uh, Holden Carver trying to figure out which side he's on. I I really recommend Sleeper. Like I said, it's one of my favorites. Take it out of the library, like I did. If you if your library, I think this comes from a library in. Like I said, at my library, I can go online and order things. So this is from some other library in their library system. I don't even know which one. Up oh, May two twenty seventeen is when they got this one in. So it must have still been in print then. 
Oh, this, this, oh, yeah, this is from Nyack Library. So this is in the county, but uh, not my library. They just send it on over. So check your library and see if they can get you this. The Sleeper Omnibus. Good stuff.